As immersive technologies like virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality become more commonplace, there is a growing need to address the problem of cyber sickness. Cyber sickness is like motion sickness, but it is triggered by the perception of movement in a virtual environment. At the University of Maryland, researchers are using electroencephalography, better known as EEG, to measure the brainwave activity of people wearing VR headsets. They hope to identify specific brainwave patterns that precede the onset of cyber sickness. The research was conducted by Eric Krokus, who graduated with a PhD in computer science, and Amitabh Varshney, Dean of the College of Computer, Mathematical, and Natural Sciences. For their project, the research team recruited 44 participants. Most were students at the university. Each participant was fitted with a special EEG headset. They then experienced a virtual fly-through of a futuristic space station. The fly-through included a series of drops and sharp turns designed to induce cyber sickness. EEG brainwaves were captured and later analyzed. Participants also tracked their own comfort level using a joystick. In analyzing the data, the researchers were able to match an increase in certain EEG frequency bands with the participants' self-reported level of discomfort. By quantifying the onset of cyber sickness, the Maryland researchers hope that others can use their data to mitigate this problem. Virtual game users, students, and physicians, all of whom wear VR and AR headsets for extended periods of time, will benefit from this research. The goal of the University of Maryland project is to make immersive environments safe, comfortable, and engaging for everyone.